in KREX 5 News at 5. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Rob Hagan. And I'm Kyra Isaacs. The Orchard Mesa Community Pool has been the center of discussion for a long time with officials debating over its closure. But now, thanks to the Save the Pool Committee and other concerned residents, we may see a different outcome. Danny Condon starts us off. We're very grateful that we are finally having community engagement meetings. The Orchard Mesa Community Pool is an important spot for hundreds, young and old. For several Orchard Mesa residents, especially kids with busy parents, the Orchard Mesa Community Pool is the only place to take a dip. Our community finally passed the Community Rec Center. However, a lot of the people in Orchard Mesa probably won't be able to access it because it's on the other side of the city. Mary Ann Tegman, a co-founder of Save the Pool Committee, tells me she and her group have been fighting to keep the pool open because it's important to give as many people access to recreational facilities as possible. There are very few indoor recreation amenities in Orchard Mesa for all community members. Luckily, through lobbying, the group may have had a breakthrough. The city held a meeting to discuss a potential plan of action for the entire community center. There's a lot of uncertainty with the Orchard Mesa pool, and, and I understand that that causes some concern and some frustration. Parks and Rec Director Ken Sherbin will let me know what happened in the meeting. While no final decision was reached, the meeting presented attendees with five potential plans, all now open for public comment. The first option for around $900,000 is to fix what needs fixed now. We've been saying for quite a long time now that the major systems are at the end of their useful life. After those major repairs, yearly maintenance would run about $300,000 per year. The second option, to spend about five to six million, would modernize the pool's systems. The third option, at 12 to 13 million, is a complete renovation. And the fourth option is to spend 14 to 15 million to convert the pool and gymnasium into an indoor turf for things like soccer. And finally, the fifth option designates 30 to 33 million to remove the pool and turn the place into something entirely brand new. We still have a lot of unanswered questions. There's still major concerns like D51 owning the land and building while the city maintains and runs the facility and the county helps with funding utilities. Despite that hurdle, Marianne believes lobbying to save the pool will pay off. It does make a difference. Tegman hopes her group's success so far will be a lesson to young passionate people that lobbying for what you believe in works. First on the Western Slope, I'm Danny Condon, KREX 5 News.